Yo, 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 what is going on, Team Tweety? I hope you guys are super well today. Is this, I'm giving it to you a day early. I did say I was starting on November 1st, but hey, whatever. So this is going to be vlogging every single day of November. I, these vlogs might go for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or they might go for 5 minutes. There's going to be some football work. There's going to be some golf. It's just going to be kind of what I'm doing right now, which I think will be fun. It's going to show you guys what I've been doing during this injury period and what I'm up to. It's currently 10.30. I've been having this wicked breakfast which you guys have seen in the upcoming vlogs. I'm just having my creatine, heading off to the gym. Now, one guy I've been watching who kills it on YouTube. His channel is Jeremy Ethia. He does a lot of workout stuff, so, you know, he shows that the pull-up does more. It's all backed by science, and he gives you this full, like, like there you go, full stat. So it's very backed by science and a little program to kind of go off there as well. So I thought it was really good, really insightful to see someone talk about the gym and back it up with science and results. So I'm gonna go there, do this back workout. It's a pull day, essentially. He has on his YouTube a push day, pull day, and leg day. So go check that out. I mean, I just think it's really cool and it can help some of you guys. So link will be in the description if you wanna suss that out. For me right now, I'm still in a rehab process. Tomorrow will be the first time that I can actually run on an anti-gravity treadmill. So I'll be doing that with absolute minimal load, which will be interesting, but it's still a long way until I can properly run. Two most important things right now for me, are number one, rehab, making sure that I continue to work on that continue to strengthen up my quads. That's what the physio has been harping on at me about, strengthening up my quads. And then the second thing is just building a good upper body strength because I can't work on my legs yet. I definitely feel like I'm, I'm getting bigger. I'm getting stronger. And yes, I am holding on to a little bit of belly fat, but my arms, my chest, my shoulder, I'm just looking broader and bigger, which is absolutely awesome. But it's gym time. I'm excited. New little program, can try it out. Man, seriously, huge shout out to Jeremy. He's not paying me. I literally just found his channel on YouTube and this workout was a killer. Please give it a go yourself. So pull-ups, this was my first time doing non-assisted pull-ups in a while and it felt pretty good. What I did notice is that I pulled with my right hand first. You can kind of see there that my shoulders go a little bit off balance. So this is super important and this is my first time trying things and I film it. I'm not going to be perfect in the gym. My form isn't going to be perfect, but I'm learning. That's the most important thing. So I always analyze and I watch this video and then I'll compare it with how Jeremy did it, how other people do it and what I need to work on. It's just like football. You can't play a game of football and do it everything perfectly. You're going to mess up a few of the exercises in form and I'm always happy to learn. I do things wrong. It's simple as that. This one felt very, very weird. It's a reverse grip pull down, something I haven't done before. You can see here, I'm like, am I doing this right? And sure enough, I was. Uh, I think a little bit like my sway when I pull it down is slightly off, but this is really hammering those lower lats and really good exercise. I think my grip strength wasn't amazing, so I felt it in my rips, wrists a little bit and that, I don't know, made it feel a little bit odd, but very good exercise again, chest supported rear delt row. This one was great. Again, I used lower weights, especially in the first couple of sets, just cause I need to get used to it. And you can see here, I felt like my feet were out of position and I'm looking in the mirror, how's my form looking? And the first set is always kind of like, when it's a new exercise is learning and understanding it and using a lighter weight. So you can see now I feel way more comfortable and focused on the exercise rather than trying to set up. Here, this is a narrow grip barbell curl, pretty simple. This is tough. When you get to like that fatiguing stage, it becomes very, very hard. Uh, anyone that has done this before knows how tough this gets. But again, another great exercise for my pool day. This workout is really testing me, I'd say. It's tough, which is really good. I'm stoked. It's not easy. Uh, I'm currently 37 minutes in, 108 heart rate right now and burn nearly 200 calories, which is kind of irrelevant. The plan for me today was to go to the driving range because it was going to be raining all day. I'm really into golf now. It does not mean I'm giving away football. It's just, I'll explain that in another video, but it looks like I'll be getting a game of golf in today at this amazing course, which you guys will see. I just got a text from one of my mates and he wants to play, so I think there'll be four of us in total. It'll be really nice. I always love a good game of golf and it was going to be raining and now it's not so sweet. So with golf planned, we headed into the last two exercises. Well, it's kind of like the same thing. Face pulls, kneeling, and then we move into lying face pulls. And lying face pulls are good. Uh, they're both good exercises, but what lying face pulls does is minimizes 
the trap's involvement in the exercise and also activates the rear delts a little bit more. So that's why you kind of get like the booster belt worlds and you split this up into two sets of each. And that was the workout, man. Just driving to the golf game now. Two guys pulled out. So it's me, a guy that I usually play with, and then another guy that I played with once. I think they're just old schoolmates, which I mean, I haven't really hung out with old schoolmates much at all since I left school, apart from now when I started playing golf. So it's good fun. None of them were my super close mates at school, but there were guys who were like mates, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. So today I'm going to try and show you the three best holes I reckon on the course. Well, the front nine, because that's what we're playing. So I'll show you three of them in full, because if I did the whole nine, it would take a while. But if you guys want to see that, I can definitely do it. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested. But it's time for golf. Had a good workout. Feeling good. I'm a little bit fatigued, but hey, I, I, I gotta go out there and perform. I know that much. All right, this course is pretty damn cool. Just take a look at that. The views you get are incredible. This, it's awesome, man. So sick. Did you hit a tree? Oh, you hit a tree and bounced up there. Shot me. Get I lost it. Get off to the right there. It's alright, it opens up a little. I have no idea where that, that went. That is a beauty of a shot. Sheldon Tweedy stepping up to the tee. I want to see a big tiger shot here. Shot. That's going to come around. Perfect, dude. Oh, I hit off the edge of the bunker and it just rolled. So, Sheldon, how was that hole so far? I am stoked with that hit. I got right off the edge of the bunker. Rolling down towards the green. Mate, nothing better than that. Cleary had a nice shot. What, what about yours, mate? Oh, it was pretty shocking, but hey, we'll see how the second shot goes. Yeah, I reckon hey, I've got you down towards you gotta the recover. green. You Absolutely. gotta recover. Oh. Get up. Sit. Get up. What? Did it bounce right? I think it just stops in like a puddle. I did not see where that. I, I think it landed it in that big ditch. It Great shot, mate. That is nice. On the green. Turn it up, clears. Wow. Yeah, Let's play, baby. Yeah. Sheldon, can we just make a quick comment on how you drove the ball from I... the tee off down here? I'm assuming that's about 250 <laughs> meters. Don't ask me what that is in yards, that but is... holy f Now, I'm looking at not too far here, and I'm thinking of 58. My last pitching wedge shot was, it went way too far. If I can hit this nice. Ooh. It's looking nice. Oh. Not bad, on the green. He's on the green, happy he's happy with, with that. that. I, thought, I thought I was in the bunker for a sec. Get up there. Get up there. Oh. But the problem there is I did not, I did not drop that on that little uphill, so it wasn't really going to yeah, get yes. the roll behind it. So my shot has dug into the green. <laughs> Dude, I bleed, my divot, it just hit it and stopped. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, it's nasty. Not enough. Yeah, I need some more on that. Get in. Get in. Oh! Oh, oh I was not looking at a birdie. Mate, that is a very nice part. Oh, it hit oh, it spin. Oh, it's not left to right, is it? It would have been shaved. Getting a six playing on that when I drove, pretty sh My second shot was all right, but as we saw, kind of just stood there in the in the. Yeah, you had a rough line. Did, did not go at all. So I guess um, fingers crossed with this next one. We got a par four. Water to get over on the second shot. I hope I can just get it up there because we've got bush on the left hand side, bush on the right hand side. <laughs> Mate, we got lizards everywhere. going around us everywhere. We got everywhere. birds probably attacking us from up top. <laughs> I just want the ball to go straight and sit there nicely. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Mate, what yeah. do you reckon? You had it there first, and the old Schmidt. Um, me and Doz had a great first drive. So oh. Second shot was on the green, so we're off to a good start. Um, this next hole is going to be huge. Oh, this is huge. Third, third hole for us here. Yep. Can't wait. Oh, shot. Stay right. Stay right. No, nah, you're sweet. That's eight. Oh, oh bounce off. Oh. Oh, it's rolling. 
Yeah. I'll be on flat. So I've come off a little bit on the left hand side, we're in the rough, but oh. luckily my ball's actually been sat up quite nicely on a bit of um, a bit of grass. So hopefully I'm gonna go for a nine iron. We've got the water oh, to play geez. with, but at the back of the green it's actually a little bit sloped down towards it. So if I go too far, fingers crossed that'll help me. Yeah, this this is a tough shot. I know what you're going for. I was thinking of a pitching wedge, but I've gone for the nine. I just do not want to go to that water. Yeah, that's gonna be an extra shot if you do. You don't, you don't want that. Yeah, that's what I want. That's what I want to hear before my shot. I'm, I'm just over there, so a little bit further. Water? That's straight in the water. So I'm gonna hit an eight. Just try and do the same thing. I schmitted, but well, in his hopefully group. executed a little yeah. better. That's going to be the eye. Oh no! No! <laughs> what do we have to say about that I one? Have nothing, nothing. We move. Sheldon coming in for his third shot. Look at this puddle, it's a bit moist here. Oh, oh. So Sheldon Bro. executed exactly what Bro, I wanted Bro. to happen using that Bro. back little bit of the hill. I'm on the green! I think? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, uh, just, I shouldn't have missed that. I shouldn't have topped that eight. That's really put me back. But at least you made it over the water. Yeah. Oh, 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 that's oh. good. That is good. Oh, not bad. Not too long either. Not bad. That's long though. That's long. It's a bit long. That is very long. Oh. Oh. That's so far right. No. <laughs> no. Uh, I don't know what that was actually. One, two I topped it, three I got there, four I hit there, five I hit there, six, seven. Six, seven. Oh mate, that's shocking. <laughs> that's shocking. Um, this is just yet another example. I don't even know what this thing is. He's pretty big. Oh my, he's actually massive dude. Um, all right, I'm not going any closer than that. That thing is deadly. <laughs> Oh, bunk? No. No. That's perfect. That is perfect. Get over. Stay safe, stay safe. Oh! Yeah. Shot, Shot, mate. Oh, that no, might bunk. be going left bunk. Oh, he stayed up. Great shot. Schmidt going for his second birdie in a row. No. Wow. Nice. Nice. Oh, my God. This is my chance. Oh, yes. Is that par? Yeah. Right. Good, Schmidt. Good. God, I was keeping up, but uh, I just hit a 10. I had a shocking hole on the 8th. Just, I don't know what it was. I swung side and then I, oh, I did two messed up chips. That's what it was. But anyway, we're heading off to the ninth hole. I think I'm last by one stroke now. I was doing well as well. I got some pars. Ah, just one hole. That's, can kill you, man. Eight, nine. You got 10, Schmidt. It's a handicap of 20, that's not too good. You got 19, I got 20. You got a handicap of 40. <laughs> Not even such a thing. Oh, I just. What did you get? 20. So I bet you've won. Yeah. That's a vlog done. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Day one of the daily vlogs. Something a little bit different as well. I just want to bring you guys some content and.
and yeah, just take your mind off things, whether it's during the day or whatever. So let me know your feedback down in the comments. I'm gonna head out. I'll see you guys tomorrow the first time I can run. I'm excited about that on the anti-gravity treadmill. So take to for real this time. I'm saying I'm actually live like on subscribe to the journey. I'll see you in the rest of the